What he wanted most were... Amber Coder Pooleen cherishes the time she spends with her son Lorenzo now, but at the time he was born, her much-anticipated joy had been eclipsed by despair. I was in such a, a state of depression and anxiety that I would simply have been unable to survive in, in that way for much longer, in my opinion. Unable to survive a depressive mood disorder known as postpartum depression, or PPD. Amber had looked forward to the birth of her son and had carefully planned the details of the birthing experience, including a natural childbirth. Instead, she was forced to have an emergency cesarean section. When a nurse came in and they asked if I was ready to see my baby, and I said no, and that was something that naturally came out of my mouth, but afterwards I was horrified. One of the more common triggers for depression is feeling overwhelmed by events or circumstances. Any life-altering event, positive or negative, can tip the balance for those vulnerable to mood disorders. And for some, the events don't even have to be all that life-altering. I've also seen people who are, have incredible wealth and have all kinds of things going for them, things that we can almost only dream about, who might make a suicide attempt because the uh, chauffeur didn't show up. Common signs of depression can include feelings of hopelessness, difficulty sleeping, anxiety, irritability, and lack of concentration. In the case of PPD, guilt may also play a major role. After several weeks of, of this process of um, dealing with these difficulties, breastfeeding, and the guilt surrounding another failure of this natural process that I thought would just come instinctively to me, that women had done for thousands of years, and that somehow, in some way, I wasn't able to succeed at, uh, I was really devastated. PPD is different from the typical baby blues that can occur due to hormonal changes after birth. The lows are more profound, and symptoms rarely go away without treatment. If depression or any disorder is impairing their ability to take care of the baby, then there's some heightened concern about that. Amber knew her feelings were abnormal and got help. Since her recovery, she's made it her mission to help other moms with postpartum disorders by becoming a support group leader, creating a website, and authoring a blog. Not surprisingly, she's become a bit of an expert on the subject. When you hear someone who's actually survived this disorder say, I fully recovered, you're not alone, you're not crazy, I felt the same way that you're feeling, it doesn't make you a bad mom. It has a lot more weight than someone who's never experienced a postpartum depression saying those things to a mom. Go, go, go. With proper support, PPD is often successfully treated. Inhale up. But like other forms of depression, taking time to concentrate on your own health is key. For WebMD, I'm Damon Mahark.